If you've ever had a moment where you've struggled to get your point across when you were talking with someone, well, sit tight because this is going to be the conversation that you and I need to have so that you can get better at communicating whatever. And that means whatever place you're in, whether it be in uh, on stage, at home with your spouse, with your kids, whatever it is, today's going to be the day that you and I have this conversation and have a uh, to how to improve your communication ability on the everyday leader. Guys, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you guys to be here. Hey, listen, as we jump into this, I want you to always remember, guys, we go live every Friday. Every single Friday, we are live. Make sure you turn the bell for notifications on. Uh, do me a favor. Tag some people. Hit some stuff up. Let's have a conversation today because today's conversation, I think, is much needed because there's so many people that are struggling with, with, conversa with communication, right? If you really think about it, why do marriages end? Lack of communication. Why do shows like shows fail? Lack of the ability to communicate effectively with their audience. Why do you have problems when you don't understand your preacher? Lack of the ability to communicate effectively. So in all of these places, communication is our number one thing. So if that is the case, then we need to get, uh, we need to actually build our skills in order how to communicate better. So you and I today, we're going to dive into that and we're going to talk about supercharging your communication. That's where we're going today, guys. We're going to supercharge your communication because I believe that you, my friends, are going to be the ones that are going to supercharge that communication to be able to speak at home, to be able to speak at church, be able to speak as an entrepreneur. Most of you guys who follow me are entrepreneurs, whether you are have your own business or you're in a business in your nine to five trying to get out of business because you hate your business. Guess, guess what? Communication is key to unlocking all of that. To unlocking health, to unlocking finances, all of that, it's the, the ability to communicate. And that's what we're going to do today as we talk. And now I want, I do want to do this real quick, little, uh, little uh, housekeeping before we jump in. Now, we do have a chat down there, and I do want you to engage in the chat. So if you guys are over here with me on, on the YouTube, I, I, I'm grateful for you to be here with me. Or even the, you guys are in the Facebook group or on my Facebook profile. I am so grateful for each and every one of you being here. I want you to ask questions. So as we dive into this, I want you to be answering, ask questions, push some stuff in the comments. Let's engage. I don't want this to always be like, just like, let me giving you more, you know, things that you can apply. Although I'm going to do that every week. I want you and I to have these deep conversational places because there's itches you need to scratch. And there may be things you may not understand, or there may be something you need clarity on. And I want to be the person to help you do that because this is all about your development. This is all about getting you to a place to where you, you, yes, you, not the people who are high, high level, um, you know, corporate people, the everyday leader, the, the, the mom, the business owner, the church leader, the person who's sitting there, like, I want to get better to make my life better so that I can make the impact that I was uniquely designed to make. That is what you, and that's what I'm here to help you do. So with that being said, we're going to jump in to this conversation. And, and here's the other fun part. As we go by, I'm just going to be playing music sometimes. You know, we're going to just have some fun. Hopefully you can hear that. Let me know in the chat. Can you hear that? Because sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But we're going to jump in. You guys ready? Say I'm ready in the chat. Let's do it. Let's say I'm ready. So we're going to jump into this. Let's supercharge your communication day. So the first thing I want to share with you guys, first thing that I want to bring up to your attention. Listen, the results we get are determined by the way we communicate. So let that sit in and sink in for a second. The results that you get are determined by the way you communicate. Now, if you don't like your results, then there's a big conversation piece we got to start with, and that means you're not communicating well. If you have trouble in conflict, you don't understand the people, you're having trouble in communication. If you have trouble trying to get on stage and you want to be on all these stages and do these podcasts and do live shows, but you don't do them at all. It's because you're struggling with communication. And so the results you get is because of the level of communication that you have. 
If you want to get better at communication, if you want to get to a place where you're high level enough to be able to be in those places that you've always dreamed of, then you need to get better. I, we, you're going to want to get better at learning how to communicate. And I'm going to tell you, communication is not talking. Okay. Now we talk to communicate, but listen to this. Communication is more than just using words. Communication is more than just sitting there and just spewing out and be like, Bleh, you know, all of these different like amounts of words that you use. No, listen, I want to say something. I want to give you something. If I just sit and just give you bunches of words, they may or may not make sense. But if I'm trying to communicate with you, then there's a there's a reason I'm communicating. And if it's a result to get, if it's the result I want, then guess what? Then I got to communicate in a way that not only are you going to understand, not only are you going to get it, but you're going to want to like do something about it. Because when we communicate, it's not just dead air and dead space. It's to say, hey, what are we doing with it? What are we wanting to do with it? How do we want to put this into practice? Because here, and I say this like almost every other week, almost every other week. And here's, here's what it is. One thing applied is better than 10,000 things known. And, and we don't need to get any smarter. We need to get better. And it's the, the thing, the difference is going to be in how much are you applying? How much are you getting out there and doing the things that you are saying, I want to do? Well, if you want to be somebody who is making a lot of money as an entrepreneur, got to get better at communication. Why? Because you communicate with your audience. You communicate with those you're trying to sell to. If you want to be a better parent, what do you have to do? Got to get better at communicating. Why? Because here's the deal. Communication as a parent if you're, you're yelling at your kids after the first word, they're not listening. You, they're not listening at all, right? They're just not. They, you usually get this. Tell me in the chat if you hear this. I don't care. You know, that, like in their mind, you're yelling at the, your kids and they're like, I don't care. I don't care, right? They're like, I don't. I don't care. There you go. I don't care, right? But that's not what you want. You think that when you communicate, you get Ooh. or some... <laughs> See, we think that when we communicate, we get all these things where we're like, oohs and ahs, and everybody's cheering because we spoke. Guess what? Communication is more than that. It's about communication for change. It's like if I'm going to speak and I'm going to give you what I have. Oh, you can't even see that slide. Look, why didn't you tell, tell me that? If I'm going to speak and I'm going to get on stages and I'm going to be in front of people and I'm going to talk with my wife and my children, then I've got to communicate for change. I've got to supercharge my ability to communicate through practice, through learning, through watching other communicators so that I can get better. And when I get better, everything around me gets better, right? Are you going to make mistakes? Yes, 100%. But I don't want your kids to be like, I don't care. You know, I don't want your kids. I'd rather you get this or this instead of this. I don't care. I hope you heard all those sounds. If not, shout, shout it out in the comments. Let's have these active conversations. So, so it really comes down to guys is learning in the context that you're in. It, whatever the place that you're in is learning to be the best communicator that you can be while you're in that place, right? You may never step on a stage. I love being on stage, whether it's my own stages or someone else's stages. That may not be you. And if that's not you, that's okay. And if you're somebody who's like, I, don't, I won't ever be on a stage, but guess what? You will be a, in a house. You may have a spouse. Ooh, I feel like I'm rhyming here. You, be, you will be in a house. You will have a spouse or maybe a boyfriend or girlfriend or someone who lives with you, a roommate, a child, whatever. And you're going to have to learn to communicate. And these are the skills that we all need to go. So that's why today, that's why tonight, I'm going to give you five steps to greater communication. Are we ready for this? Is this is this a thing? Are we going to do this? Because I want you to be able to get to a place where you're communicating for change, where you're communicating for action, where you're communicating in a place where you are getting what you want because people actually understand you. How would you like that? How many people here of all the ones that are online with me right now, how many people here would say, you know what? I would love people to understand me better. I would love to be able to speak in a way people actually get it. So I don't have to keep explaining myself. If that's you, let me know in the chat. I, I see my, I see the chat. I mean, just, I want to know if it's working or not too. So here's the thing. And as always, make sure you ask your questions as we go along through this. So boom, let's bring this back up. 
So number one, here's number one. And, and we're going to, there's no specific order of this. And, and the deal is, is that any one of these five do one of them change your life by changing what you do. Right. And if you change what you do, then it's going to change the results you get. So I want you to do something, pick one of them out. And at the end of this, I want you to say, this is the one I'm going to commit to. And the first one is have a purpose. Why are you even talking? Some people like to talk because they have so much they want to hear and they have so much they want to say, but they only want to hear their voice. And there's really no purpose other than they just want to talk right now. Some of you guys who, who are my introverted friends are like, I only talk when there's something to say. Some of us who are extroverted, like we don't know when to shut up, right? But in, regardless of whether you're an introvert or extrovert, regardless of where you are on that spectrum, have a purpose for your conversations. Have a purpose for your communication. Get into the place where you and I are in this engaged conversation, right? And you know why you're there. And I know why I'm there. And it could be as simple as, as building relationship, right? That, that our agenda is that we get better at being in relationship with one another. We could be as simple as, hey, listen, I need something from you. Here's how I'm going to communicate in a way to share my need. Or maybe you need something from me, right? You get into a place of having a purpose. Like when I speak with my wife, it's relationship building, unless it's to do something that we really need to do around the house, right? Hey, that may look like the fact I may just sit back. We may laugh. We may have a good time. We may you know, hoot and holler and whatever it is. I may make fun of myself and she may laugh at me and all that stuff. But the bottom line is, is that you have to have a purpose, you know, because here's what it is. Purpose gives meaning. Every one of you guys, are, you know, you're sitting there and you're like, you ask these questions. What is my purpose in life? What am I here for? What am I doing? Right? We ask these deep questions, but do we ever ask the conversation about what is my purpose for communicating? Why do I even want to talk to you? Why do you show up to a place like this and we just hanging out? Like we're having a conversation right now so that I can help you get better at what you do because that's what I do here. This is about what I do is I'm helping you become a leader worth following, right? And in that, in that very case, if you're going to become a leader worth following and it's all about leadership development, it's all about communication, right? This is my primary thing, whether it be through disc personality, whether through leadership development, whether through whatever it is, it's about getting to be a better communicator. Because if I know one thing, if you're a better communicator and you have this ability to give purpose to your communication, then purpose gives meaning. That means everything you do has purpose to it and you'll feel significant and fulfilled in your conversations. I, I love the fact that you can actually feel fulfilled, fulfilled. I make words up, guys. Just want to tell you that. But you can actually feel fulfilled in your conversations simply simply by knowing the purpose of why you're there. And like I said, guys, it could be easily as simple as just we're there for building relationships. It could be easy as like, I need something from you, or it could be, we're going to do a task together. We're going to do a job together. But when I step out of my comfort zone and I actually, in my heart, you know, I have to sit there and call you. If we were on the phone, I wouldn't be like, Hey, my purpose today is so that we build relationship. I don't have to say those things but I know my purpose. So my purpose dictates my results because it gives me a pathway to run on to my results, right? So have a purpose. That's number one. So we always want to do the first thing. Well, let me turn that off for a second. Boom. There we go. So we want to always make sure that we're having purpose. We always want to make sure that we're in this place of conversation, of communication, where we're actually having these, bl these blessed times where what you say matters. We're having these times where I get what you're saying. And you know what? Here's the number one thing. And I, this here, here's this is the, the infamous, we're gonna call it the infamous, like right, right? It's the soapbox moment. Now I'm gonna hit the soapbox moment. And we're gonna we need to have music for the soapbox moment, right? A little bounce music for the soapbox music. I hope you can hear that music. If not, I look like an idiot dancing here with nobody else dancing with me, right? Hey, listen, they tell you if you're going to dance, dance if nobody's watching, right? I got a bunch of y'all watching, so I'm dancing like an idiot if there's no music. But here's here's the thing. I'm going to shut that music off. But, but here's the thing. Here's my soapbox moment, moment, guys. I want you to feel as if you matter. I want you to feel as if everything around you matters, right? And in order to do that, you've got to have purpose. 
you got to get it out of this conversation in your head. Like, what is my purpose in life? What is the greatest purpose of my life? Yes, you'll find that. But if you can't find purpose in conversation, you'll never have find purpose in, in life. If you can't find purpose and meaning in what you do every day, you'll never find the significance of your life and you'll feel empty. So let's take these moments and get to know one another. Let's take these moments and actually have these places where we're, we're conversing in a, play, in, a, in a way that says, you know what, you matter. And, and here, here it is, you're heard. Because I know something that most people, all they want is to be heard and they don't feel heard. Because you have people that just talk to people and you have people that just like vomit words and there's no reason. There's no rhyme. It's just so they vomit words. I'm done. I'm done. It's good. We're gone. But that just brings me into my second second thoughts here, guys. If you're doing five things that are going to give you supercharge your, your, your conversation, right? It brings me to my, my second thing. And the second thing comes down into this. It comes down into, how, oh, no, that was number one. We already did number one. Number two is know your audience. Let's pop it down here. Let's know your audience, guys. Now, I'm a big, big proponent like of, of disc personality profiling. So I am a huge pers- uh, proponent of this. Now, for you guys who don't know that, I have other videos on my channel that you can watch, uh, two lives, and I'm putting out more content for personality. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so because I, I'm putting content out every week. So here's the deal. So personality typing is one of my favorite things, and it's so easy to do with DISC. I love Myers-Briggs, and I do love Enneagram, but DISC you can do in under five minutes and understand it, right? And with DISC personality, what it comes down to is, is you're getting into the place where I understand you and how you and I are different. Like in, in this language, I'm a high I personality, so I have lots of energy, and I have lots of – I want to talk, and I want people to notice me. And you may not be that way. You actually may be a, a high S. And in that way, that conversation, you're 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 softer. You want more one-on-ones. Your energy is a little lower. You don't like change, right? And 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 watch the rest of the videos to get more of that. But and at the end, I'll give you a free guide on how to get into that because I think that's the key to your communication styles. But here's the deal: understand your audience, guys. If you understand who you're talking to, I don't care. If you're on a stage, if you're on a Facebook live, if you're on a YouTube live like this, I don't care if you're a preacher. I don't care if you're speaking from, from your, from your business. If you speak to people and you don't understand the people you're speaking to, all sorts of miscommunication happens because we speak according to the way we're wired. A light can't be other, anything other than a light. Because it's wired to be a light. You and I are wired a certain way. We have a certain design about us. And you and I start in this place where our design determines how we speak. Our design determines how we communicate. Now, with proper ways of doing this, we can get better at communicating. There are skills you can do. One thing, for example, have you heard me say an um really? No. Why? Because I've spent years taking that out of my vocabulary. There are skills you can do to in order to get better. You know, dramatic pauses and ups and downs and lowers and speak soft and speak in there, right? But if you don't have the right momentum in the motive end of the area, in the back end of communication, the front end skills don't matter. I can do dramatic pauses, but if I'm doing dramatic pauses without understanding how you receive, it really doesn't matter because guess what? Understanding translates to comprehension, which simply means my way of speaking has to be in a way that you're going to understand. And and it's hard when you have large diverse audiences. It really is. But there's there's a line of thinking that I know, I know, I know, I know right now of the four personality types in there. There are multiple ways that I can do this, but if you, if when as you dive deeper in this in this journey with me, uh, throughout my channel, throughout my business, and things like that, you're going to understand one thing: that for the high C, the the detailed individual, I'm giving lots of information. For the S, I'm telling stories. For the I, I'm high energy. For the D, I'm there. I'm making a quick point. That's why you get a key point on my screen. The key point, boom. So I'm blending who I am because I understand my audience. I understand that the primary crux of my audience is a certain personality, but others are in the audience too. So I understand who I'm speaking to. So I hit different things as I'm going through. 
And if you don't hit different things, then you're just one one sided. Do you ever you ever hear you ever remember the peanuts commercials? Like not the commercials, the peanuts uh, cartoons. What what Lionel and Lucy and and Snoopy and all that? You remember the teacher? Womp, 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 dum, 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 dum. You know that sounded more like Martian aliens. You ever see that movie? Uh, Mar men are, not men are from Mars. Uh, Mars attack. They're like womp, 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 womp. that was Mars attack. But for the 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 peanuts lady, right? Womp, 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 womp. Listen, if you don't get communication, if you don't improve your skills in communication, that's how you sound. Because there comes a point within the first few minutes that people just either get off of your lives or get off of your time or they shut you out. Why do you think kids are always like, I don't remember anything you said? Why? Because they're already not listening to you because you're not speaking to them in a style that they understand. Why is it that like when you're up there and you're saying some great things and nobody gives you a standing ovation ovation as you're maybe you're a pastor and nobody comes forth or maybe you're a speaker and you get up in front of people. And, and I know that thrill of being up in front of hundreds of people and having these great conversations and then you feel at the end and nobody moves. I understand that pain. Right. And you're like, why didn't you move? What I said was really good. But then you ask the hard questions and you say, did they really understand? Was I bridging gaps? To be a better communicator in whatever context you're in, you have to bridge gaps. Remember that. You've got to bridge gaps. So bridge the gaps, guys. Bridge it, right? B bridge it, right? Bridge the gaps because when you bridge the gaps, you can actually get into a place where you communicate for change. You can you supercharge your communication. Um because here's the deal. People want to listen to you. People like you. But if you're just going to be that person who's like super like out there and is not having that problem and not having those conversational pieces, then I want you to understand that you're going to have trouble. You're going to have trouble. So make sure that you and I are in this place of getting to a place where we're communicating for a change. That's what it comes down to. And so let me, as we go into our third point, I want to make a, make a quick note for all you guys who are a little frustrated for not commuting, for not uh, being able to uh, chat. I just realized that my chat may not be working. So let's see that. It says, it says this, it says display here on stream, but the chat doesn't seem to be working because I'm trying to activate and throw things in there, but it doesn't look like I'm getting anybody on there, but I see you guys on with me. So I do appreciate it. So if you did have any questions or anything, I do want you to know that I am going to go back to this and make sure that I answer those questions. But sometimes, Hey, listen, technology, sometimes it, it fails you, right? But this is still good thing. So what I want you to do for me a favor, if you like this video so far, give me a thumbs up wherever, whatever platform you're on and make sure that, that you get in there and leave some comments in the chats and then share this video out. So that way we continue the conversation as we go on. So guys, let's go into number, number three, start conversations. Listen, I think that this is, this is a skill that is so underrated, right? This is so underrated because you and I want to have these talking head moments where we're the most important person in the room. Everybody needs to listen to me. All is said and well and done. But in that conversation, are you starting conversations? Because when you realize it, the, this generation, and if you're alive right now, you're part of this generation. I'm not talking like Gen Z, Gen K, Gen FYZ, whatever they are, right? Millennials, boomers, all this stuff. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about if you're alive in this generation, this 2021 generation, then you are going to be a person most likely. This is 90, like some percent of the generation. If you're a lot, like a lot older, this may not be there, but I'm going to tell you most of the people in this generation, particularly the young ones coming up, want to be part of the conversation. If you don't make them part of the conversation, they're not going to give you the right to speak. It just comes down to that. And that's really what it comes down to. You've got to earn the right to speak to them. If you're going to earn the right to speak to them, guess what happens? They'll start listening. They'll start listening to you. They'll start giving you all that nice, gushy little like, I want you to be part of this. I'll actually listen to you. I want to ask questions. They just want to be part of the conversation. That's really what it comes down to, guys. All they want is part of the conversation. If they're not part of the conversation, they will not let you speak into the conversation. So, and again, whatever context you're in right now, whatever place that you're at, you can actually get to a place to where you just ask more questions, right? If, if you just ask more questions, people will be part of it. 
people will get in there and be like, yo, this is actually really cool. This is actually really in a place that I want to be. And if I'm in a place where I want to be and people are actually listening to me, it means you gave people the right to speak to you and you gave them and they gave you the right to speak to them. And it really comes down to that, guys. It, it is such a, such a beautiful symbiotic relationship because when you're in these places, when you're in these like, I'm going to give and take and I'm going to give and take, guess what happens? Relationship is built. And the greater your relationship, the more you get to speak. And the more you get to speak, the more they'll listen and then the more they'll do what, what, what you're talking about because you've earned the right to speak. Let's get out of the place where we think we have the right to speak and realize we need to earn the right to speak in people's lives. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. End of story. If you are not somebody who's inviting people into the conversation to where you're like, hey, what are your thoughts on this? Matter of fact, we've already done three so far. I know I know this. the conversation, uh, the, the chat seems to be a little broken, but just do me a favor. Wherever you're, whatever platform you're on right now, Enter into the enter into it and say which which of these playing so far has been something that really spoke to you. Was it starting conversations? Was it you know we spoke on understanding your audience or have a purpose? Right of the top three that we just did, it, it, which one spoke to you the most? Which one gave like really like wow that was something that really hit me? And I want you to get to a place where you are at, or you are actually taking these things in and going to do them where you're evaluating them. I want you to be part of this conversation. And so in this place, if you're part of the conversation and you're inviting people to be part of your conversation, you're going to be at a place where you can actually, actually do good in your life. How many of you guys want to actually make an impact? I said actually like four times, but you want to make an impact, right? You want to make this huge level impact but you can't make the impact because you're not inviting people into the conversation. So if you want the conversation, if you want to make the impact, then make the, the then invite people into that conversation. So let's let's do this for a second. So 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 like I'm just gonna reset the thing. Thank you guys for hanging out with me so far. All, all you guys, I'm sorry I can't see you at the moment, but that's okay. Um, make sure you do ask your questions. There are there is a link in the chat in the chats down there. Um, where you can get in there and ask your questions. Yes, the chat is not working and that's okay. But guess what? We do this every Friday night. I'm not done yet. I still got two more to hand out to you, two more to give to you that I think you're going to really, really, um, one is going to hit you number hard. The fifth one is going to hit you hard. So stick around. But we do this every Friday. We we go live every Friday at 7 p.m. And we're going to have these conversations. Um, if there's ever a topic that you want me to cover, in communication, leadership, things like that. Let me know. Reach out to me. Let me know because I love, love, love being able to scratch itches. We are having a Q&A coming up uh, shortly. But remember, this is the Everyday Leader Live. This is your host, Jim Bergoon, and we're here for some fun. We're here for some, some great things. Yeah. I just like the sounds. Hey, listen, I just like the sounds. So let's go into number four on why how to supercharge your conversation, not your conversations, but your ability to communicate wherever you are, whether you're a business owner, whether you're a parent or whether you're a parent or spouse, or whether you're in ministry, whatever that level of, of communication you're looking to improve. These are the five things that I'm helping you get to that place. Let's do number four. Let's share ideas. I, you know, this sounds counterintuitive sometimes, right? We get into these like really good places. We're in these really good things. Right. But if you notice something, here's here's the here's the bottom line, the key for all you guys who are, who are writing down and looking for keys. Sharing ideas draws people in. Sharing facts usually turns them away. Right now, I want you to understand that there is a small portion of our per personality types that love facts. They just want you to do details and details and statistics and all that. And we love those people. Right. But ask yourself, what really draws you in? to a conversation? What really draws you into these lives? What really draws you in to the, to the places, whether it be at your church or whether you buy something from someone online? It's the ideas that are being shared. Your facts will support ideas. It's not, it's not the other way around. 
you have the idea, you have the vision, and then it, your facts support it. But if we're always out there, you know, sharing facts, we lose people because most people out there are really not as detail oriented as, as we like to think. And because of that, we lose them because we're like detail, 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 fact, 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 fact. When wouldn't it be a better communication peach, whether you're on whatever your stage is, if you built your stage, like my YouTube live or my YouTube channel, or if you, or my Facebook live over there, or if you have your other people's stages, like I was on an interview earlier this morning. The thing is, is that whatever stage you're on, preachers, you guys have stages, ministers, uh, your home stage, which is going to be parents, spouses, whatever stage you want, you're on, get to the place where you're sharing ideas and you're getting to that deeper level of communication because when it communicates, People want to be part of the conversation. When they're part of the conversation, you are heard. Your ideas are gravitated. Why do you think TED Talks are so in, so important? Like not They are so important, but so popular. Why do you think everybody wants to get on a TED Talk? Why do you think everybody watches TED Talk? TED Talks have millions of views because it's, a play, they, they, it's their tagline, a place to share ideas, right? Facts will support your ideas, but people want to hear ideas. People want to hear your vision. People want to hear what you have to say, when you have to say it. But they want that first. They want that vision first. And then, only then, can you support it with your facts. Too many of us sit there and say, in, in uh, 48 minutes under this thing, we got this thing doing on this thing. Well, guess what? And I know my, my, my screen just went crazy, right? But guess what? The deal was that they want to hear your ideas first. Like, why is your idea an idea worth sharing? Why is your idea this thing that is going to be worth somebody listening to? Why? Like, what is the, what is your purpose of that? Like, what is the thing that is going to be worth sharing? Like, it's not even like where you're just giving out this thing. So let me track with me here for a second. Like, let's look at, let's look at preachers for a second. I'm going to go into the, into the preachers for a minute. Cause I, I, I was one for a while right? So here's the deal with preachers. You're not just sharing that. Like a good portion of the world hasn't heard Jesus. You're not sharing those things. What are you sharing? That the message of the gospel is the, is the one thing that changes people's lives. That's number one, right? That's what you're sharing. That is the idea. And around that, around the gospel, people can actually get a better life because of the gospel, right? That's the idea of what you're sharing. Now, if you have a business, Let's talk to business owners because I'm a business owner. I'm a coach. I'm a speaker. I'm a trainer, right? But in this communication piece, here's the deal. What is it all about when you're speaking to your audience? Why are you speaking to your audience? What are you trying to share? It's, nobody cares that you you help 48,000 people. You ever see those websites with the, the gurus? I've helped 48,000 people people achieve 48,000 results. People don't care. People wants to know is what are you communicating that's going to help me? Right? What are the things that you're communicating that's going to get in my space so that I can understand? That is what people care about right now. Right? That is what people are asking from you. Is why are you communicating to me in a way that I'm not getting it, right? They want to hear you, but they wanted to know why it's about them. So if you're a weight loss person and I know a weight loss coach, right? Let's go here. You're not you're not communicating the idea, hey, you're fat. No. We don't do that. We say positive things. We like positive things, right? No, what do you communicate? That life is better when you get into optimal shape, right? That's what we communicate. That's an idea. With, with, with my coaching, it's like, listen, if you want results to where you're going to grow your business, grow your life, and become a leader worth following, then I'm the guy to help you with that. That's an idea. That's a vision people can get around. So whatever business or whatever context you're in, share the idea. Like parents. All right. So I have two kids, you know, we, we dubbed them hurricane, uh, Lily and tropical storm Gabrielle. Right. Because if you haven't, if you have kids and uh, you know anything about it, then you know that at, well, every time you clean, it's like, whoo, there comes the storms and the storms go by and everything you clean is, is, is just a big hot mess. Right. But we get back to them. We yell at them. We're like, yo, you better clean your room. You better blah, 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 Right. Cause we're mad. We're mad. Right. But here's the deal. What if you shared the idea, like why they need to clean? Now they're going to give you kickback because they're, they're kids, right? You just got to sometimes pop them back into place. But what if you actually shared the idea of why? The why's behind the what's. What if you got in there and say, hey, listen, we clean our place because this is what it's going to do in your life and why it's important. 
we 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 clean our place because this is why hygiene is important. It's you see how ideas launch into bigger conversations, but if you just continually just right, if you continue like that, because this is going to lead to number five, because we're going to go there in a second. Um, if you're continually doing that and they're not listening, you're not jumping in to the bigger portions of the conversation. And if you're not jumping into the bigger portions of the conversation, you're missing out on opportunities to raise your children in a way that's going to make them healthy adults. If you're if you're a, a stage speaker, you're missing opportunities that's going to help people make the transition of whether from where they were to where they want to be. Because if you just spit facts, if you just spit knowledge, people aren't going to gravitate. But if you spit ideas, people can sit with that. People can chew on that. And then people can actually begin to do something about it in their lives. Like, why do I do my lives? Because I want you to gravitate or hold on to what I'm sharing because everything I'm sharing, you can put in your life and your life automatically begin to change the moment you start doing it. Right? So the idea behind this live, every, every live I do has a purpose. Like I don't nilly willy make these up. I actually have them scheduled out for like three, four weeks at a time. But the purpose of this live, I sat there and I thought to myself, what are people struggling with? Well, they're struggling with learning how to communicate, right? Because I, I, I know marriages are struggling. I know, you know, churches are struggling. I know businesses are struggling. I know people that I coach personally that are struggling. Why are they struggling? Because they have something to bring to the world and they're unable to communicate it in a powerful way. So I, I, I purposely did this live because I'm very passionate about you being that leader worth following because why? Because you have something on the inside of you that the world needs. You have something on the inside of you that you need to learn to communicate in a powerful way. And the level of communication that you're at is not going to be the level of communication that you need to be in order to be powerful like you want to be. So you've got to uptake, you've got to upgrade, you got to get to these places where you're constantly working on this thing. And when you're constantly working on this thing, you are going to get better. So learning to share ideas, like that's why I do this live. That's why this live, particularly the purpose and the idea of this live is to help you get better at communication. Because why? Because on the end of the day, there's something locked on the inside of you. And I don't care how old you are. Listen, some I know there's a couple of people in my audience that are like 40s, 50s, and 60s. Listen, if you're still breathing, you still have purpose. Some of you guys have given up because of so much trauma you've been in. If you're still breathing, you still have purpose. Right. And if you still have purpose, then you have something to do in this world. And if you have something to do, communication is going to help you unlock that. End of story. End of story, guys. And I want you to get to a place to where you're communicating better, to you're communicating for a change. Right. Now, if you guys are just joining me, I do want to say this real quick. Uh, the chat is broke. I don't know if I broke the chat or if the chat just doesn't work today. So remember to continue to comment on the chats, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, because I will go back and I will check them because you matter to me. Your time matters to me. And so I do check them and I do want to make sure that we engage. And for you guys in YouTube, once the, once the video is over, you can actually go back to the, the channel itself and do, you know, you can comment on the channel if that's something you, you so desire, but I want you to be back and forth with me. I want you to get into the same page because we are going to get through this. Technology fails, but guess what? Your mission does not, right? So I want you to get for, go forward. And here's the deal. We're going to get into number one now, but before we do, I just want to tell you real quick, I'm going to reset this. Make sure you're asking questions. I love questions. Now today I can't answer them live, but that's okay. Um, we do this live every single Friday from seven to eight Eastern standard time. And I want you to be, and, and I come every day, prepare every Friday prepared for you. So I want you, I want you to be here with me because you matter to me. Okay. So let's get into number one. And the first one, I wish there was, you know what I need to do? I need to find a drum roll, you know, a little sound. I got all sorts of other sounds, but I don't have a drum roll sound. I need a drum roll sound, right? I got, I got cat. Wow. I got cat hissing. All right. So let's do, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I got a gun. And number one. The number five or number one, whatever area you're looking at is stop talking at people. I'll make all you mad now. See, I'm meddling. I'm going to meddle. I'm meddling because here's what I know is that there's so many people that talk at people and not with people. Listen, people don't listen when they feel when they're defensive. If you're talking at people, people are like, yo, I'm done. I'm out. 
Why do you think your children shut down after 30 seconds if it's that long? Why do you think that when you're on stages and you're talking at people, you're just like vomiting words and you do not ask questions, you, even if they're hypothetical and, there's, and you're speaking to a thousand people and, and you know that a thousand answers can't come back. But involving them in that conversation, why? Because like like today, let's use real time examples. My chat is broke. You can't. I can't see your 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 comments live. But I'm still asking questions. Why? Because I want you to be part of the conversation. I want you to at least in your in your heart roll over this thing and and wrestle with some of these things. Is where was I? Where am I at in this? Right? Because I want you to be part of this. But there's a lot of people that I've seen in, in the spaces where it's just bloom, regurgitate, bloom, 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 boom, 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 boom. And as they're beginning to just regurgitate these things, these people, they call me, you know, 741, they call you, right? That was the school calling you. School, you ain't allowed to call. I got to put that thing on, you know, airplane mode. You know, but let's let's go back before I, before I lose my track because you're like, you're in this train. You're like, oh my gosh, you know. That is going to be the school calling you this late with those robo calls is a, you know, is a, <laughs> ah, you get you so mad. But anyway, let me go back with this, but see the thing, if you're up there on stage, if you're in a, if you're a small group leader, if you're somebody who's like even talking to your barista at Starbucks, guys, when you get your, your, your venti latte diabetic drink, whatever that is, guess what? When you're speaking there, don't speak at them. You get so much more out of people when you speak with them, right? I get super energetic and I'm, and I'm very like, yo, I'm like high energy on these things and just in general in my life, but you never get the feeling that I'm speaking at you because I want you to be part of the conversation. And as long as you're part of the conversation that I'm doing my job, not only just as a communicator, but as a human being, because I want you to be in this. And even if though we're worlds apart and you may be watching this live and I'm grateful for you, or you may be watching this on a replay and I'm grateful for you too. I want you to be part. So the question really comes down to, are you, is most of your conversations speaking at people? I know husbands and wives are really bad at this. I need you to do this and I need you to do that. And I need you to do this and this and while you're at it, let me do this. I know a lot of entrepreneurs that are, that are quite, quite challenged in this area. Hey, listen, if you do this, 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 and this, and then this, 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 this will happen. I was in this conversation with an entrepreneur friend of mine, right? And and they were, and I was like, and this is real life, right? And I was like, hey, listen, this, 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 and this is what's going on with me. Well, no, no, I, this is th that doesn't matter what's going on with you. If you do this, it's going to work. No, I did it. It didn't work. Well, you just need to do this and this and this, and it's going to work. No, it didn't. See, if you talk at people, they shut down. Like I, I just don't want to be in relationship with people where I'm just talked at, right? And neither do you. When you're talking now, now you get emotional and, and sometimes you just like want to just, you know, punch a person in the throat. You get there, right? But you don't ever do it. So learning to communicate becomes to a place in your life where you're learning to master, the, master the, those urges, master those ways where you're sitting there and saying, I want to just talk at you because you're not listening. No, we, people shut down when they don't talk, when you talk at people. So we go about it in a different way. We ask more questions. We get into a place where we want people to be part of the conversation. We get into a place to say, you know what? Let me sit. Let me just have this conversation with you and not at you. And I think people have been hurt so long in their lives and they've been through so much trauma that it's easier for them to talk at people because if they talk at people, then they don't let people in. Well, you don't have a relationship and you'll never get far in your life if that's, if that's all you ever do. If you never let anybody in long enough and you just speak at people. And it doesn't matter whether it's your right waitress, your, your congregation, your, your clientele, or, or your house. It's rude to speak at people, right? Because what happens when somebody speaks at you? You get fired up. You get defensive. If you're like, if you're from, if you're like guys, I know there's my mom's on this, the call. I'm, I'm from Philly. My mom's from Philly. You know, Philly people, like you speak at people, they want to punch you. They want to like fight you, right? You get this like, ah, this boom, they want to fight you. But here's the deal. What if you want about it a different way? What if you went about it and just said, you know what? I know we're both having a challenge with emotional connection right now because we're both angry, but can we re-engage this at some point? Can we just have a different conversation? Can we just talk about it and just see what happens? Instead of reacting to your, um, to your anger, respond out of your love. Let me say that one more time. Instead of reacting out of your anger, respond out of your love. 
Well, you're like, I don't love that person. Well, that's probably why you're having trouble with your relationships. Because you think you don't love them and you've told yourself you don't love them because love makes you vulnerable. And if it makes you vulnerable, it means you can get hurt. So it's better to get to a place where you're not getting hurt and you just shut the world out because that's what it really comes down to. And if you shut the world out, then you don't need to talk to people. You don't need to, you don't need to have these conversations, right? Well, the problem with that is, is you're not, you're not going to get to the level that you need to be in life because you need people, whether you like it or not. I need people, whether I like it or not. And if you, you and I are going to get to this place of conversation, then we got to stop speaking at people. We got to spe stop speaking at people and start speaking with them, guys. So here, let, let's 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 do this. So I want to give you this last thing. So listen, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. I know our chat was broken. I'm so sad because I love putting your name up on screen. I love when you're here because I love being able to show the rest of the world, who you are and the brilliance that you bring to this live stream with me. It matters to me. And I appreciate that. I know I said that a lot, but I, why I, when I said it matters to me, but I know something you don't hear that a lot. You don't hear that. It matters to you. So that, that you matter to someone now you do matter to people, but they may not tell you a lot. So I wanted to tell you today. So if you want to kickstart your, your communication journey and you haven't picked this up yet, this is the DISC personality profile. Let me make it a little bit bigger. This is my, my what I put together is I put this together and inside of this, it's a free, it's free to you. I'm just giving this away. No, no strings attached. Just the only thing is, is you may hear from me a lot, an email every now and then to just let you know that I'm going live or I've got things going on, you know, but here's the deal. This is for you. What this will do is this will give you a, a really quick introduction to who you are, the DISC personality profiling, because DISC is communication styles. This whole, th this whole thing tonight has been about communication. This is just one aspect that you can do tonight that will actually kickstart your ability to communicate. Why? Because the moment you get this, listen, I work so hard on these things that my free things are better than most people's low ticket paid things. And I will stand by that right? I give so much value wrapped up in these things and I give it away because that's how much I value you. And because of that, I want you to get this thing and I want you to be able to get that initial conversation started because you'll see your, your style and you'll see other style and you start that conversation. And then if you want to take the conversation to the next level, that's where you reach out to me. There's a way to in there the, or even through these lives and just say, Hey, let's schedule an appointment. It's a, it's a no a commitment appointment, which means, which just simply means let's show up. Let's see if I can help you. If I can help you, I will. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about investment. If I can't help you, I'll share it with somebody else who may be able to, because we want to get you to a place to where you are a leader worth following guys. But if you're not willing to invest in yourself, whether it be the time from the free stuff or money with a, with a professional coach, then you're just going to stay where you are. You people don't get better by doing nothing. Let me just tell you that people don't get better by doing nothing. They get better by doing something. They take action. So with that being said, uh, www.leadwithgym.com. It'll take you to the site. Just go ahead and click that first thing and you'll be able to get this down. That's, this is, this is for you. This is my free gift to you. Um, and, and I, as we, as we close this out, listen, I want to journey with you, pick up the free, free thing. Um, if you want to schedule that call, let's schedule that call because I would love to see where your journey goes. And I want to be part of it. Now, remember, as we do this, I'm going to shut this, shut this off. And then I'm going to do this. And I want to tell you again, we do this every single day. Every, nah, you know what? I, I could do this every day and be happy, but I, I only do this on Fridays because I do want to make it special. But we do this every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So wherever you are in the world, this is this is the time we do it. And in this particular moment, these are times where we, we focus on leadership development, we focus on communication, we focus on behavior, different things and different aspects so that you can be a leader worth following. Because that's really what I'm about. That's really what this is all about. And that's why I do it. And I want you to ask questions. Um, again, chat was broke, but that's okay. Ask them in the comments. Reach out to me on, on your preferred platform and just say, hey, let's, let's, let's have a conversation because I'd love to hear some, some thoughts on this and let's see what that looks like. But guys, you have been joining me on the everyday leader. Now I'm just going to hit the sound out because we're, we're going to play the, uh, let's see, let's see what this, is this one. No, that was, there we go right there. And guys, this is, this has been a great, great conversation, even though I have not been able to see a lot of your chats today, but that's okay. I'm going to tell you every Friday we do this and the chat's going to be fixed for the next Friday and just hang out with me. Let me know in the, in those comments, 
who you are, where you're coming from, what you're struggling with, how I can help you, and then how I can help you be a leader worth following. Because that's what we do, guys. That's what we're about. We're about helping you. We're about helping you get your voice out to the world, and we're helping you about you getting that impact. So much love, guys. Peace. Much love. Much love. And you know, do me a favor. Go do me a favor. If you don't, if you haven't followed me on YouTube, hit up, hit me up on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that video for that like. And then here's the here's the last thing. This would help me out so much. And take the channel and share it with other people that you think, man, you could use this. You can use the encouragement. You can use the skill sets. You can use this. Share that with people because that's my goal: is that we get this message out to as many people as possible. Love you, and with that, I'll see you.